Guerrero came in, and now John Paul Jr. picks up the lead of the race, but... And John Paul Jr. has taken the win. As with most of the thousands of people afflicted with Huntington's disease in this country, John Paul Jr., one of the nation's top professional race car drivers, began developing symptoms in the prime of his life. It was starting to invade my racing. I was having to actually talk my way around the track. Segments, basically. I was having to tell myself to turn, accelerate, brake, instead of it just flowing. It gave the victory to John Paul Jr. And I'll tell you what, this is an extremely deserving young man. John Paul Jr. wins. He was compared in motorsports to what Fernando Valenzuela was to baseball. I and mean, to be the very best at what you do and having that disease, you know, tie your hands so you can't do something that was as natural to you or I as breathing. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just not right. It's just not fair. My mother, she, she took me aside when I was five years old and told me that her mother had Huntington's and there was a possibility that she, she might have it. So eventually she did get it. Well, it was kind of like, it was kind of unreal really. Money uh, well spent uh, in terms of helping people's lives. If you really have any idea what Huntington's does, uh, does to someone, first of all, it changes your behavior. Sometimes uh, people can become very uh, violent or upset. They can't walk normally. They lose their balance. They get what is called a chorea, where they're uh, going in a uh, circle with their arm like this. Uh, it, and then as the disease progresses, oftentimes people uh, are unable to swallow even. They can't swallow. And uh, so it, it's really, really uh, tough to see someone who's completely healthy come down, come down with it. You'll have to fire it up! Oh! And that's it! UCLA wins! UCLA head basketball coach Ben Howland is one of the winningest coaches in UCLA history. Perfect Ben Howland, some feel he's the best coach in America. What he's done, back to back to back, 30 win seasons, back to back final fours. But his family's off-court battle with Huntington's disease has demanded the greatest courage of all. My wife's father, Arlo Zano, had Huntington's disease, and uh, we didn't know anything about it until that time. And uh, he lived with that uh, for the better part of about 15 years before he passed away. One of the things that we found out is that my wife and her sister has a 50% chance of getting the disease. Their two children could be affected too. Hello. At UCLA and the Huntington's Disease Society of America, researchers and families are fighting back against this inherited, cruel, and fatal disease. Donations that come from the public to our work at UCLA, to the Huntington's Disease Society of America, all of them are pouring into projects that are having immediate benefits. The recent discovery of the Huntington gene, a mutation of one gene, number four, that sets in motion an attack deep within an area of the brain called the basal ganglia, offers tremendous hope, not only for those with Huntington's disease, but similar, more common, devastating neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. As we develop better understandings for what's causing Huntington's, then targeted approaches can be made to stop the problems from happening, with the ultimate goal of trying to delay the onset of the disease or slow down the progression of the disease to stop the damage from happening. So a few years after the gene had been found, uh, there were maybe three human clinical trials that had been done or were being conducted in Huntington disease. Now there's 21. The UCLA staff just supporting us every step of the way with cutting edge research, the next steps we should take, uh, clinical trials that are available. My hope is that we will find a cure for the disease so it will stop hurting people. I wouldn't want, want this on anybody, any wishes on my enemies. The hope is a big part of this. You know, 
got to have hope. It's a long bridge that has to be built from the reality of today of no cure and there being a cure. They don't feel that they are forgotten. They feel that there are people out there who care, whether it's them or not, but maybe their children, a cure will be found. I don't know if they'll find a cure, probably. I don't know if they'll find one in my lifetime, but by the time my kids have to deal with it, that's that big thing that I'm worried about. That's all the real reason I came here to California was just so I could be of any benefit that I could be. For your children? Yeah. A cure is out there, and so many people are, you know, like we've said, so many people are affected by these degenerative diseases like Huntington's and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, and we're so close to a cure. And if, you know, he, his life can be used as an example to help other people. Second place behind John Paul Jr. So that would be his ultimate winning race.